I'm a curator at the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. I'm the curator responsible for Japanese art. Boston has had a very large collection of Japanese art. We have roughly 100,000 objects. Um, and it, those objects date anywhere in time from archaeological materials to contemporary art in all media. So it's a very wide group of objects, and it's a lot of fun to um, work on all different kinds of objects. My responsibility is to make sure that if you walk into our galleries, that you begin to understand something not only just about the objects, but I also view it as a responsibility for anyone walking into my galleries to learn something about Japan. Some of it's visual, some of it is um, also just pr providing the context. So the way I present objects can make it very different for people trying to understand um, how they were made, how they were used, and how they're appreciated now. Japan is very proud of its cultural heritage. It wants to know that it's well taken care of outside of Japan, but it's also that there's a real desire to know what we have. And so we take care of a lot of Japanese scholars, making sure that they can learn from the objects that are in, in our care. Outside the museum, I often teach. I don't do it as a regular teaching assignment, but I've taught at Harvard University. I've taught at Amherst College, Mount Holyoke College. It's a way for me to reconnect with students, to try thinking about different ideas that they have. What do they want to learn about the objects? What do they want to know? Some of the most rewarding work that I do, I think, is for an organization called Colcon. It's a binational committee um, run primarily sponsored by the U.S. State Department, as well as the Japanese Ministries of Foreign Affairs and also the Education Department. We are an advisory group. And so I had a particular committee on the arts, and we advised the, um, them about, for instance, how do we make sure that there are enough people who want to learn about Japanese art, who appreciate Japanese art? What can the Japanese government do to make sure that Americans um, have access to those kinds of objects or those kinds of exhibitions? Or how do we make sure that there are enough curators, people like me, in the future to take care of these objects? So those are some of the kinds of issues that we discuss regularly.